just going to show you how to uh, apply a theme and to find uh, the right theme. So I've just set up an, um, uh, a WordPress uh, site at the moment. So click on appearance and then click on themes. Now, uh, for this um, assessment, I need you to be able to modify the menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on filters and we're going to click on features. And in here, we're going to type in custom. And then you get a list of things that say custom. And down here, I'm going to select custom menu, custom menu. So it says feature colon custom minus menu. Um, and then we don't want to look at all the paid ones. We're only going to look at the free ones. So I've chosen feature colon custom menu and I've said free. The one I want is called 2021. This is the one over here. You can choose a different one. That's absolutely fine. Um, but we definitely want a custom menu. And depending on the theme you choose, um, you get different options uh, in terms of settings. So I'm going to choose and the ones that I'm going to have my videos based on is this one here. And it says the works of birth uh, Morisot and it's called 2021. Uh, and you click on that and then you say activate this design and it says, are you sure? And you say, yes, you'll activate it. A and then I click on a uh, uh, view site. And you can see it's applied. Now, sometimes coming in and out of the different views can be a little bit confusing in WordPress. So if you click on my home, it takes you back in here uh, and it brings you back. Uh, it's usually over on the left hand side and you're moving about here. You're never on reader. You're on my sites um, and then you're down uh, to the site. If you want to create a new site, you click on switch site uh, if you want to start again. So um, just in case you ever get lost and you can't seem to find your website, here's a little uh, hint for you. So here is my website address and mine is dmcnamarahotel.wordpress.com. Um, and actually, if you type that out, uh, if you if you actually copy and paste it, it would actually start off with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash uh, and then your site name dot wordpress dot com. And if you ever want to get into the back end, if you type in. So do you see when I clicked in here, the HTTPS actually colon forward slash it, it came in. So if I click in here and type in forward slash WP minus ADMIN. That brings me to the back end. So if you're ever having difficulty, you're thinking, oh, I don't know where things are gone, because sometimes it can get a bit confusing. If you type in forward slash WP minus admin, it'll take you and I press enter. It always takes you back into this view. And that's quite handy sometimes if you're a little bit lost.